Hello and welcome to another edition of Alaska Real Estate Podcast. Brought to you by Alaska Housing Finance Corporation, providing safe, affordable, and efficient housing all around Alaska. I just talked to a client the other day who participated in the energy rebate program last year. They're loving it and raving about it. Point your clients towards akrebate.com. AHFC, your partner in Alaska real estate. Did you meet Kevin Donnelly the other day while he was up here in Alaska? No? Well, you're about to. Kevin's your NAR legislative representative. Find out the latest from NAR in D.C. right here on Alaska Real Estate. Well, we sure appreciated meeting you up here in Alaska, Kevin. And and just initially, your thoughts of what Alaska would be like versus the reality. How how did you find us here? Uh, I was completely amazed by your state. Um, Had an amazing time traveling um, both on my own and then with uh, your CEO from the Alaska Realtors, uh, Sandy Ehrman. Um, really just an incredible time uh, meet with rank and file realtors across the state and um, given uh, a federal legislative update and sort of the lay of land of, of where we are politically uh, going into the 2014 mid-year elections. Was there anything that surprised you about just speaking very specifically to the state itself as far as the landscape or the access to, to nature or lack of or whatever? Was there any surprises that uh, you encountered? I always knew Alaska was massive in, in just, you know, size, um, but I was just really blown away by being on the ground, how immense it really was. And then, of course, how incredibly beautiful it was. I, I was just amazed that everywhere you turned, there was either a beautiful lake or river or, you know, mountain range. I mean, I, I cannot still um, get over just how incredibly beautiful uh, your state is. Did you see any any wildlife? I did. I saw my fair share of wildlife, and coming from a, a kid that's originally from Jersey, it was quite impressive. Everything from moose to uh, grizzly bears to incredible fish that was caught down in Homer and uh, all over the place. I mean, you name it, I probably saw it. At this point, of course, on the podcast, later when you hear back, you'll you'll hear some music from you know Jersey Shore, and Schnooky might be laughing or something. Anyway, you did that to yourself. I'm just going to remind you. You said you're from Jersey. Oh, uh, please. <laughs> well, let's talk about the message you delivered while you were here, because it, it seemed to evolve while you were here, uh, just with things, the nature of politics and the nature of Washington, D.C. It changed and uh, is forever changing, but even during your presentations, it, it changed. So tell us a little the core message that you came to Alaska to deliver and then any updates you have since you've been here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was fortunate, um, as I said, to tour the state with Sandy Ehrman from the Alaska Association. She put together an aggressive schedule for us um, where we visited with uh, the Valley Board of Realtors, the Anchorage Board of Realtors, Kenai Peninsula Association, the Ketchumac Board, and then we did an RPAC trustees call. And on each of these, I gave the uh, lay of the land where we are in terms of 2013 agenda. And right now, I'd say the the biggest pieces for us are uh, protecting the future of the FHA program um, and how ultimately that program will be reformed and the positions and the work we need to do uh, to protect the original intent and mission and protect low down payment programs for uh, affordable credit for your buyers out there in Alaska. Um, Next, we touched on the future of the GSEs, what ultimately happens to Fannie and Freddie and hoping to uh, get the Alaska Realtors engaged in this debate so that we can protect uh, affordable fixed-rate products like the 30-year mortgage. And uh, lastly, we touched on uh, tax reform and what is coming down the pike there. Um, I started the week uh, describing the process where we were at the time and, and basically put the chances of tax reform moving forward pretty low. Um, And and by Friday, my last uh, realtor board meeting, um, the dynamic had completely shifted into a a period where the realtors had to go on offense. Um, The the United States Senate has uh, taken some aggressive action on this front. The chairman and ranking member of the Finance Committee, which is the tax writing committee in the U.S. Senate, has essentially put forth a memo to their colleagues, um, to their fellow senators, indicating that they are going to wipe the entire tax code clean, remove all provisions, and that includes our big big babies in the room, our mortgage interest deduction, our state and local tax deduction, uh, capital gains exclusion, any of the big pieces in the tax, re- tax code that, that protect the real estate industry will be removed, in addition to other uh, huge targets like charitable, um, health care deductions. I don't remember anything like this in the past. Is this 
unprecedented or is this a, a common practice, but it's hitting a little too close to home for us? Yeah, I mean, you know, let's be honest, the tax code is a mess. It's full of complexities, and we all agree that it needs to be um, overhauled. But we have been fighting for quite a long time now to make sure that, you know, especially while we're going through a uh, housing recovery, that we do not remove tax incentives that, that benefit your clients out there. Um, so we ha- were quite surprised that it took this aggressive um, form so early in the debate. Um, especially when so many folks thought that tax reform was ultimately dead, at least for the next year or so. Um, But rest assured, we have put together a very aggressive plan, um, a a battle plan, if you will, of how NAR will go about defending not just residential um, tax treatment, um, but also the commercial real estate tax benefits that we that we have. So I can uh, let you guys know that we will be issuing a call for action, a NAR call for action next week highlighting some of our top priorities and that will be going to the united states senate so fortunate for us we have some great champions in your federal delegation uh senator lisa murkowski senator mark begich two of our greatest leads and at this point since we're only focusing on the senate um congressman young is not going to be addressed at this point um just because the house process is very unclear but we, we certainly will keep in the loop, and he's always been a strong champion for us, so I don't expect anything to change there. Um, but I will say, you know, Alaska usually taps out at about 25 26% participation um, in call for actions for the, at the NAR level. We would really encourage you, because of the importance of this debate, to, to really pounce on your colleagues and, and make sure they responded for the email around. And as I was pitching to anyone who attended any of the briefings last week where I was present, you know, we have tried to make it as easy as possible. We have a new app um, that we have rolled out on the Apple iTunes store. Uh, It's the Realtor Action Center. And through that, with one click, you can respond to the call for action. And, uh, you know, Senator Murkowski and Senator Begich uh, will receive your email. Kevin, it doesn't get any easier than that. We appreciate it. And we're busy. You understand that. And, and it's, um, But it's so important. And so to have that kind of immediacy and easy access is very much appreciated by the membership. I, I know that. It is. It is. And just one more thing. When I was talking about participation level, Alaska always does do fairly well um, in comparison to the rest of the nation in responding to their calls for action. As I indicated, I think last year we had a 26% participation rate on something of this importance that could really shape the entire dynamic of the real estate market for the next coming decade or more. Um, We would ask that that the urgency really be placed upon responding to this and and everyone do their best to to encourage support from their colleagues um, throughout the state. And it's really not that big a deal when you think about it. So you're saying right now we're, we're essentially one out of four people in a room are participating to make it two people out of four in a room. That's not that big a jump. No. And just imagine what the difference is if if Baggett or Murkowski receives double the letters. Um, That will give them double the strength when they have to go up against their own leadership uh, to fight to preserve uh, tax benefits for residential and commercial real estate markets. So um, as I've indicated, um, you have a great federal delegation in both Baggett and Murkowski in the Senate and and Don Young in the House. I don't expect um, any problems with getting them on board. And I know we're going to be working with each of them to identify issues that they are going to take the lead on in, in the Senate and fighting for preserving. So whether it be uh, commercial real estate benefits, which I know uh, Senator Begich has a strong indica- or a strong interest in, or Senator Murkowski with mortgage interest deduction, um, both of them are, are, have indicated great support for us, and I'm assuming it will stay uh, strong for us on this debate. Kevin Donnelly, legislative representative with the National Association of Realtors. It was a pleasure to meet you in Alaska and uh, really enjoyed our time today. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks for the hospitality up there to everyone. Well, that's it for this edition of Alaska Real Estate Podcast. A big thanks to Alaska USA Title Agency for making this program possible. With new offices opening around Alaska, Alaska USA Title Agency is open to close your business. They're online at akusatitle.com. Sandy Ehrenman's your executive producer. For all of us at Alaska Real Estate, I'm Chris Story, wishing you health, wealth, and prosperity.